What's going on, y'all? This right here is Slideception. This is the 2023 Jayco Pinnacle 36 SSWS. Let's go check it out. So right off the hop, you can see we've got this in the black full body paint and it looks amazing. But check this out. There's a slide in a slide, which not only does it look cool, but you get a ton of space inside. Now let's start up front. We'll be quick about the outside, but there's a lot to talk about. Side and backup cameras. Hydraulic six point auto level system up there. You got room for a ton of batteries. We got a 5,500 watt propane generator and 120 pounds of propane. We're on a 102 inch wide body with a drop frame, dual pane frameless windows. We got a macerator on this so you don't have to play the poop slinky game. Nice separated water system. We got motion lights, all your valves and everything right there. We got the Jayco patented drinking water system, 400 watts of solar and an 1800 watt inverter. That runs to your TV in the bedroom, your main TV, uh, and a few select outlets. We also have a heat duct in here and the extreme weather package. So we've got 120 volt uh, tank pads and 12 volt heat tape on the main water line. And of course, all the specs, all the lengths and tank sizes are in the description. We got triple air conditioners on this one. Walk around the back. You got your sewer hose storage underneath and your electric hose reel right here. Integrated bumper, and of course that fiberglass rear cap, the molded fiberglass, looks amazing. And we've got these huge windows that blend into that cap. So it's all very cohesive. You got a built-in uh, hitch back here, and your backup camera, of course. Jayco smart lighting, so you got tons of LEDs the whole way around. Two huge awnings. We got your J port system right there for your uh, your griddle. TV on the outside. Of course, being a Jayco and a Pinnacle, you get the best running gear. Mall ride, Dexter axles, Uniroyal tires. galvanized steel wheel wells underneath there as well. Now before we go inside, let's talk about a couple more things. Exterior speakers, on-demand water heater on this one, but they come standard with a 16 gallon, uh, like standard water heater. Central vac here. There's your griddle and there is the table on that mount that goes in the J-Port system. Have a, have a wide view at the outside, real quick. Man, these things look good. They look good, I tell ya. Now let's go inside, because that's what matters most, eh? Wow. It's kind of like shock and awe when you, first in, when you first walk into a pinnacle. Let me take my sunglasses off. We got huge windows, high roof line, beautiful finishes, solid surface counters, residential style appliances. Right off to the right here, we got a little wine rack down there. Now these cabinets are different than any of the other cabinets in the Jayco lineup. They are uh, basically machine made instead of human made and the tolerances are tighter, the designs are sleeker, and the paint is super glossy. The finish is amazing. There we are. You got your BM Pro panel right inside here. And a cabinet that's like too high to reach up there because your roof line is super high on this. 
this big cabinet here. Now in the pinnacles as well, the centers of the cabinets, these are hardwood, not paper finish. This is all hardwood. So every piece of the cabinetry, it's screwed and glued, it's all hardwood. Got a nice backsplash there on your coffee bar. You got five piece drawers, 75 pound drawer glides. And they are soft clothes. Let me demonstrate that one more time. Like so. Now, over here, we've got this huge slide. It's tall, it's wide, well, deep as well, of course. And look at this finishing. Look at these lights on the matching, like wood. I don't know what you would even call that. Not a valence. I better find out what that's called, eh? Huge windows, like I said. Shades and blackouts. There's some storage behind the chairs there. And we've got a power tower right here. Cha. So wireless charger on top for your phone, plus some plugs and USBs there. 120 volt heated massaging recliners, Stacy Stewart. So they look good and they're super comfy with a little storage in the middle for TV remotes, what have you. Across there, we got your TV. Back here, big trifold sofa. Now being 102 inches wide, that means you get some storage on both sides of the couch and a ton of walking space. And yes, these vents are in the floor. Why, why not in the walls? Because this way, they can run it all through one big vent, so there's less heat loss, and it goes right into the basement as well, and radiates out of the floor. Amazing cabinets with this like milled glass. I don't even know what you would call that. Frosted, big shelves. Now I'm, I'm 5'10", and I'm standing heels on the floor here, but to get up here, I am on my tippy toes. I can't reach the back of that. So for all you normal height people out there, uh, there are some places that you just have a hard time getting to in this. There's your TV, smart TV with the JBL sound system and your fireplace down here. Now on this side, we've got a standard rack and pinion with the little lip. On the other side though, we got the seamless slide, no carpet in the slide. Oh, and some nice lighting under that island there, you see that? Also got the butcher block here, that can hold a ton of weight. Now let me put this TV down for you. And down she goes. Then you get a window. Blammo! Now moving on from there, big pantry here, oh, and the spice rack up above the microwave. So this tucks away and then you pull it out and you can take your pick of spices. I think it's really cool. Now this pantry, you open it up and you got motion lights. So once that's open, you can see everything in your pantry. And those shelves are super deep because this slide's so big. Heavy hardwood door with the glass. Some big drawers beside the stove, residential style stove. Four burners with a big oven. It's more like three burners and then you got the simmer on the back there. Now this is one of the best parts about, you know, the Eagles, the North Points, the Pinnacles. You get all your controls everywhere. On every uh, slide edge, right over there, and in the kitchen here for all your lights. Ceiling fan up top. You can see the intakes for the Helix 
uh, the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system, double ducted the whole way through. Speakers in the roof there. Here's that uh, chandelier in the middle. Now this counter is huge. This island is like the size of my arm. Drinking water right there. Pull out faucet with the spray head. And a big, a big apron sink. I, I love an apron sink. Very nice. Underneath here, you'll notice there's no covers for the sink. Well, that's because there's a little felted storage space underneath the sink. So they slide in and they don't really wobble around because there's some felt in the slots. And that just slides right back. Some plugs. And that's the pump for your freshwater drinking station so you don't have to have that on all the time. It's right there. And, oh, I almost forgot the, one of the cooler parts in here is the pull-out garbage and recycling drawer. That just tucks right back away in there. Like so. Convection microwave. And this one, we've got it with the dual fuel fridge. It's huge. Matching freezer on top. So that'll run on propane or 120, but you can get it with a residential or a 12 volt. Now up the stairs, well first let's look at the stairs. We got your central vac sweep, uh, like sweep hole and the connection there, and a little shoe garage underneath the stairs. Motion lights throughout. So you don't have to turn all the lights on when you come in. Nice grab handle here and your bathroom. Now this bathroom is probably, I'm gonna say it's the best bathroom that I've ever seen in a trailer. My favorite anyway. Tons of storage. Huge mirror, that's me, wow. Nice backsplash, really nice sink. Porcelain, not plastic. Got your uh, on-demand water heater controls there and some power, matching solid surface counters in here. A, a good spot for your toilet paper. That's almost unheard of, I swear. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Little storage for the toilet paper underneath as well, which I love to see. And again, a ton more storage in here. And these beautiful, white glossy cabinets. I love those. More storage here. There's plugs all over the place on both sides. Another towel holder. We got a fantastic fan up top. Not a little fart can, fart fan, but a proper fan. Towel hooks so you don't take up space outside of the shower when you're drying your towels. A teak seat folds down so you can sit down and enjoy your spa shower which has yeah that's right that's the solid surface counters again there is one two three four places for water to come out of this shower You've got separate separate controls little shelf there and all of this molding is really amazing. It's these little details that separate things like the pinnacle from the north point, even. Big skylight, and there's a ton of space in here. Let me see if you can see me. See, like I've got a bunch of room in here. Now this is where the slide starts. This is your washer dryer prep. So there's a rod, a wooden rod in there for hanging. See if you can see that. Got your washer dryer stuff and plugs there. But this shelf never goes away. So there's a shelf that runs all the way through. It's dark down there. I gotta turn the lights on, but. It 
heavy hardwood door. This latches in. I gotta push kind of hard on it. Ah, there we go. All right, big bedroom. There's a TV that goes there as well. Controls for your slide, lights, security camera system, big wardrobe with drawers down there, wireless charger for your phone. There's the switch to switch between your dryer and your fireplace. Charging center with 12 volt and two USBs, and then you got a household plug beside it. There's your fireplace and the nice under, uh, like underslung lighting there. Now we have all three air conditioners in here, so there's one just for the bedroom. King bed. There's some storage underneath. Cedar lined closet with a boatload of storage space. Plus, the best part of the, about this floor plan, the washer dryer being back there means that you get a ton more space in here. A couple of drawers. Now, for those of you that don't know, why cedar? Well, the cedar's here because it looks awesome, but also it keeps moths away. So you don't have to worry about mothballs when you have cedar because the oils that cedar releases naturally keeps uh, moths away. Little laundry basket back here. Boom. And some more shelves. And this is carpeted up front. There we are. Let me open this. Oh, I almost tripped on the bed. Here's a little peek for you. That little white sticker on that outlet down there is uh, what tells you that it's connected to the inverter. So that'll run that right off the inverter. On both sides of the bed, there are these little cup holder, or sorry, uh, like phone holder tables and light controls. You can shut off all your interior and exterior lights just with that little control panel. Side windows in here do open, so you can get that cross breeze. And now one more compartment. Here's the other side of that wardrobe and shelf system. So when the slide goes in, you open this door, and you latch it into place, and then the slide closes right up to here. And that's it. That's the 2023 Jayco Pinnacle 36 SSWS. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.